Well, primal fears are those fears that are just very ingrained in us. They're, it's kind of like we're being hardwired. Uh, fears for uh, the dark, for um, fears for our lives. I'm not sure that the occupation changes what frightens people, although I think people might choose an occupation based on what frightens them. Um, nothing that is, that is, that strikes me as gut-wrenching. The dark is the unknown. You can't see it. Uh, you can't see in it. Anything could be in there. Um, and the human mind being what it is, we tend to think in terms of scary things, of of deadly things being in there. Uh, or just simply stumbling and falling. And if you're, for example, through most of our human history, if you're a um, hunter-gatherer, et cetera, uh, just to stumble, fall, and break a leg was pretty much a life sentence. You know, that was a fatal illness, a fatal injury. When I was real little, I mean, my dad and I watched the original Frankenstein and on Creature Feature, like on Tuesday nights. and. Um, when Boris Karloff walks in the room, you know, like backwards, I was, I was kind of hooked. But that was a big thing my dad and I did, was we watch every Tuesday um, the genre stuff. You know, one week was giant robots, one week was giant, you know, Godzillas <clears throat> and classic Universal, and then the other week of the month would be like Kung Fu flicks. So every, you know, I was destined to be a, a geek. But I stuck with the horror movies even in throughout, I think. Well, first of all, people want a sense of excitement. You know, that's pretty basic in our lives is the desire for excitement and and that's what causes people to seek out uh, scare is you know the the need for excitement uh, there's a physiological rush within the psychology of scare you know the heart rate goes up blood pressure uh, respiration and you know it all comes together to you know, make it a very pleasant experience for them to be scared. I think it's 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 the roller coaster ride. It's it's the fun. It's, it's sort of like the hey, I survived. I don't know if they're really going to like horror horrors or they're going to like the PG thirteen. It's it's a like a social thing. Let's all go together and and, and sit there and laugh and text through it. So um, I think the ones that the reason to really go to a horror movie hasn't changed then and now. Well, people attend horror movies uh, for something exciting in their lives, an excitement to kind of see what that unknown could be out there. You know, it's been shown that younger people, teens and young adults, like horror movies because it's a chance for them to kind of see what's out there, look at some other, pos you know, the scenarios of what could happen. I think romanticizing the idea of anything that causes damage is, is a problem. Romanticizing war. Um, anybody that's actually ever been in war will tell you there's nothing romantic about it. Uh, so I think that is because then we tend to um, become blasé. And we begin... Yeah, I believe in the supernatural. I wouldn't be a minister if I didn't. I wouldn't be a Christian if I didn't.